This is a demo on the Screen DTS 1015 AI desktop drum scanner. Uh, part one, probably. Uh, we have a 10 minute limit on YouTube uploads, so uh, unless I can get this done in 10 minutes or less, uh, there'll be a part two. Um, I have uh, mounted a 4x5 transparency on the drum. It's a dry mount with uh, tape only. I've uh, drawn the transparency um, around the drum with very low tension uh, to uh, avoid Newton rings. Um, your preferred method may be, uh, may be oil mounting. Uh, there's a uh, focus control here. Uh, focusing is achieved through the uh, viewfinder. Uh, there's three aperture settings, large, medium, and small. Large for lower resolution and uh, uh, lesser magnification to the small aperture for higher resolution and greater magnification. Um, the controls here, there's an online, offline switch here. We're currently offline for uh, these uh, initial setup settings. Uh, function key, left, right, uh, scanner head control here. And uh, calibration key. Um, the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the uh, scanner head over here to where we can get a nice hard line on which to focus. I'm going to use the, uh, the edge of this little uh, pallet tray thing here as a nice hard edge to, uh, to get a, a good focus point. Um, so I will roll the, uh, the drum until the, that hard edge appears in the uh, viewfinder. And then, without the benefit of my glasses and handicapped somewhat by the camera, I am going to try to get a good focus there. And I believe I've got it. Uh, I'm going to leave it on a uh, large aperture so that we get a good quick scan. Close the viewfinder. Uh, come over here and I'm going to uh, move the uh, scanner head over to a clear area on the uh, drum to do our white calibration. All right, uh, right there. So to do a white calibration um, for a transparency, we um, we do the calibration with the uh, um, the reader uh, going through the uh, clear area of the drum, and to do that, uh, you push the function key and then hold down the calibration key, and you'll see that it says calibrating. Once you've held it for a second, you can let go, and uh, once the the white uh, value is uh, established, you'll get a uh, calibration complete. On the display, or just say, yeah, calibrated. Um, then we want to move the head back over here to the far right edge of the uh, transparency, and we'll roll the drum back until the far upper right hand corner of the transparency is at the uh, point of light. That's our origin point, uh, that's where the scan will begin. And uh, we just hit the, uh, the calibration button to establish that origin and the display will say original point. At that point, uh, we're all set. Uh, close the cover, and then we will go from offline status to online, and then over to Photoshop, um, file, import, DTS scan, and the screen uh, interface will come up um, there are a lot of finer points uh, to the software that I never learned. I had a very limited range of functions that I used consistently and uh, pretty much the uh, default settings and the uh, AI artificial intelligence software feature uh, covered, covered my needs. But uh, uh, a diligent pouring over of the manual and maybe finding someone there with uh, experience uh, with the screen scanner um, and its software uh, will open up the, uh, the doors to the, the finer points of, uh, of its capabilities. Um, under preferences, driver setup, you can set the uh, resolution 
increments of 100 uh, dpi with the large arrows we're going to do 300 dpi small arrows um, increments of one um, go okay there all right over here magnification same thing large arrows increments of 100 percent we're going to keep it fairly low so that uh, this will be a quick scan small arrows increments of one percent you can also highlight and uh, type in the uh, percentage. Um, one of the functions of the artificial intelligence software is uh, the ability to scan directly to CMYK. We're going to go to uh, RGB. Um, here, and select uh, reflection for reflective artwork, deselect for transparency, and uh, here it gives us an indication uh, it also shows uh, that we're doing a transparency. That's the transparency symbol. There's the reflective symbol. Uh, there's other fine-tuning options here, but we're going to use standard. Um, you can uh, take the uh, eyedropper tool here, click on that, and come over and uh, select your... Uh, you know, pick out what you feel is the best highlight. and. It, take a reading there and then uh, pick up your eye shadow eyedropper and select the shadow area um, or you can use the uh, AI software function and uh, take your uh, marquee and select an area that gives you an overall average uh, range complete range, complete balanced range of highlight uh, through through shadow and then uh, once you've selected an area that gives you a good representation of that range click on the AI setup button and it'll uh, it'll take care of those uh, highlight and shadow uh, values there for you. And then once that all is taken care of, once you've set your resolution, your magnification uh, the mode that you want to scan to and uh, you've done your highlight and shadow readings or your AI readings then uh, with the marquee you can select the area of the image that you want to scan hit scan it'll uh, tell you that based on the information that's been gathered up to this point what your aperture setting should be based on the uh, uh, resolution and magnification settings that you've selected uh, in this case, I knew that it would uh, would be large, but uh, if it turns turned out that it was medium or small, we would have to go back into the uh, hardware and do the uh, uh, change the aperture to whatever it says here, medium or small, and then uh, do a new white calibration and reset the origin and, and uh, start that process again. Um, but once we've confirmed that we've got the right aperture setting and everything else is in place, then we hit OK. And uh, the display will say uh, scanning. And it is indeed scanning. And you'll have a uh, progress bar over here in Photoshop that shows uh, how the scan is progressing. And uh, we are coming up on nine minutes, so it does look like we will probably need to do a part two on this. That's a very quick and basic uh, rundown on on uh, what's involved in setting up and executing a scan. Maybe that's enough. Maybe we won't need to do a part two, but uh, we'll try this. I'll get this uploaded, and you can look at it at your leisure, and uh, we'll do the live demo uh, online sometime later today if you'd like. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks.